I hate the fact that I can hear traffic from the highway below, even though I took the same road, Highway 33, to turn off onto Forest Road 85 to get to this location. This spot is perfect, if not for the noise, and for some reason the noise is all I can think about. Ruminating. It's something I do occasionally. To ruminate is to think deeply about something, but it's so much more than that. I think the best way to explain it is to think about a problem or situation deeply, but the thoughts never come to a conclusion. It's some kind of cycle. There's usually a trigger of some kind that kicks it off. Some people ruminate because they believe that doing so will give them insight to a problem they're trying to solve. A history of emotional or physical trauma can also cause people to ruminate. Ongoing stressors that can't be controlled cause people to ruminate. For the record, I'm not a psychiatrist. See, I'm not really frustrated over the traffic. I'm not trying to focus on the traffic or the economic conditions that create this traffic. Yes, I've thought about this long enough today to remember why there is so much traffic on Highway 33. And it has to do with people commuting from one state to another for work. And not that you care, of course you don't care, but this is what people who ruminate do. I want to solve this problem, and it's not been given me to solve. It's not my job to solve it right now in this moment. Do you ruminate? People ruminate about different things. For me, it's usually an unsolvable problem. And by unsolvable, I mean unsolvable by me today. Like the economic conditions in West Virginia, or at least in this part of West Virginia that forces people to drive across Shenandoah Mountain into Virginia every day for work. Never mind the fact that they can always move. They're just making choices. I mean, these choices are being made by people who don't mind the commute. And what's it any of my business? I'm not even informed enough to have a decent conversation about this. In fact, who said it was even a problem? Oh, oh yes, I did, because I wanted peace and quiet for this video so that you can have peace and quiet for this video, and yet all I've done is talk. Again, I'm not a psychiatrist, but I found that there's only one thing that gives me peace from what I call runaway thoughts, and that's prayer. No, not meditation, prayer. I don't keep my belief in Christ a secret. I'm a pastor. But I'm as human as anyone else on the planet. I have issues just like you do. Christian leaders have issues like anyone else. And if anyone tells you anything different, well, they're liars. Having a sincere conversation with the Almighty does a lot more than just help the way I process information. It actually helps me identify the source of the stress and the anxiety. Nothing around me changed today. The traffic didn't change. But after some prayer, I changed a little. And that's how this day turned out better.
This is Brandywine, West Virginia. It's located in Pendleton County. As of the 2010 census, the population was around 200. Since then, it's decreased by 69%. About 100 people actually live in the town of Brandywine. It's located within or in George Washington National Forest. Unemployment is a little better than the national average. The cost of living is 28% lower than the national average. And the average commute to work is 31 minutes, which is about the same amount of time it takes to cross into Virginia on US 33. Carolyn and I have made almost 50 videos in West Virginia over the past couple of years on our primary channel, and most of the time, Brandywine is our gateway into the Alleghenies. We love Brandywine, West Virginia. Ruminating isn't all bad. Sometimes it leads to action, or in this case, some Googling, to kind of figure things out. Why is there so much traffic on Highway 33? Well, it turns out there really is a lot of people commuting back and forth. They don't want to leave West Virginia because it's beautiful. They don't mind the commute, and I can't say I blame them. It's beautiful. <laughs>